Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Let's Try. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Pawn Baryon, a game released in 2021. Pawn Baryon is a roguelike turn-based puzzle card game that takes some of its puzzle elements from chess, as I'm sure some of you will already have noticed from this starting screen. We'll be controlling our own hero, and we'll be using random cards that we draw each turn to move him around and defeat enemies in accordance with how pieces move in actual chess. I myself am no expert at chess. I think I know most of the basic rules, but otherwise that's it. But I do not believe that you really need to know chess to play this game. Uh, I'm not on the, under the impression that it will give us any advantages at all, even if we did. So even if you don't know chess, don't be, uh, don't be dissuaded by, by trying this out if you think it looks interesting. Just like other card games though, we start with a basic deck and I believe after each round we'll earn a currency that we'll later be able to spend on upgrading our deck. Exactly how and when and how much, we'll, uh, we'll have to figure it out as we go. As per usual though, this is not a game I've played before, so without any further ado, let's try Pawn Baryon. And we are just gonna start it off with a new game. Uh, Pawn Baryon ventures into the tutorial island. I think that sounds pretty reasonable. Volunteer to clear out this neglected manor and hopefully learn how to handle yourself in less civilized places. Okay, floor one of two. Okay, welcome to Pawn Baryon. How, how, hover o over anything to see a description. So we do have a... Happy Bear, a gigantic rodent with a taste for meats. Okay, so we can see that there's got to be no damage on this tile here, but it hits everything around it. So does this. This is the same creature, and we can actually see... That's very nice. If we hover over, we can see which creature is actually going to, to be attacking that specific tile. All right. Each turn you'll play cards to move and attack with your hero with the same pattern as the shown chess piece. You have two, move, two moves each turn shown under the board to the right side. I'm gonna assume this is moves, yep. Normally you'll choose what to play from three random cards. To move, click a card, then a marked square on the board. Play the two pawns to continue. And see, this is this is exactly what I meant, that you don't, you don't need to... Um, you don't need to know chess really because the moves will be highlighted where you can go as you hover over the card and you can even read about the card itself. So the pawn, it moves one square forward or attack one square diagonally forward. Promotes to queen. Okay, well, we are just going to play that. We will move up. Uh, okay, Pawn Baryon, a brave fighter of the northern chesslands, always on the lookout for a new challenge. Promote whenever you move into the top row. Start turn in the top row or have three pawns in hand. Okay. I guess we'll be taking one to the face here. Yep, not much we could do about that. After you run out of moves, it's the monster's turn. They try to attack your hero. Well, then they move. You ended your turn in range of the capybara, so you were attacked and got damaged. Red notches on the board show squares targeted for attacks. Use the knight and jump into the top row to continue. Okay, we have a knight here. Jump and attack into a square that's one cardinally and then one diagonally away. Okay. So it wants us to jump up to one of the top rows, and I think that means we are going to promote we now got a queen, very nice. Move and attack any number of squares, cardinally or diagonally. Demotes to pawn. You just promoted one of your pawns into a queen. I wonder if we need a pawn in the uh, in the inventory actually to do that. See your hero's description for an exact explanation of how this happens. The card chosen for promotion isn't random. It's always the rightmost eligible one. Okay. Cards stay promoted until played or until the end of a floor. If you don't play it right away, you might draw it later during the floor. Attack enemies by moving into them. 
Just like capturing pieces in chess, kill all enemies on the floor to continue. Well, I suppose we could go down here. Kill this. Oh, okay. We can only play two? Right, we can only play two. So what we could have done was... We could should probably have waited, actually, if we wanted to, to avoid damage. I thought we had one more because then I would, would have uh, moved up. Okay, nothing new. Uh, I think that is okay. I think we can move up. And then we can move back down. Yoink. Take a look above the board. The bag shows your current gold, and everything to the right of it is loot you gather after winning the floor. The crystal heals a point of damage. The gold goes straight into your bag, which you'll use in a second. The rightmost piece of loot is lost each turn, so finishing a floor in fewer turns means you gain more stuff. Ah, okay, okay. You also gain a piece of gold from each enemy you kill, unless it was spawned by another enemy. Alright. Okay, so now we get to upgrade our cards, I assume. Okay, we have our deck up here. We have five pawns, we have two knights, two bishops, two rooks, and a king. Welcome to the shop. Here you can spend gold on hearts and upgrades. Move into things to buy them. There is no move limit in the shop and you always have cards which allow convenient movement. Take a look around and buy an upgrade to continue. Okay, what do we want though? Okay, we can buy this for six gold. Diagonal splash. Attack diagonally adjacent squares after moving. Okay. This is the same, I assume. Yep, then we have a cantrip. Gain an action, gain an action and draw a card. That's not bad, actually. Cost 10 gold, so we could afford both. Okay, we can upgrade a pawn with shield, absorb a point of damage this turn. That's not bad either. Maybe better on the rook, though. Ooh, gain one more max heart and postpone your demise. Okay, I thought this was just healing, but apparently it's actually max health. That's that's nice. Um, I'm not sure what we want with this. I'm thinking maybe we'll go, we'll grab ourselves a defensive rook and maybe a, a diagonal splash knight. We could actually, with that, also upgrade our health. I think uh, I think that's uh, that's probably not a too bad of idea. Let's grab that. Why not? Ah, uh, we use we have the same card. That's very nice. Okay, and let us grab a health as well. We could save some cash as well, but I think we'll be okay here. Let's try that. And besides, there's only two flaws anyway. Your final test. Most enemies in the game have some ability you'll have to strategize around, so be sure to read their descriptions. You can skip turns early with the button of the right of your cards. Okay, let's assume it's this one. Yep. Okay, this is the Blight Matron. An eldritch abomination born from the Blight. Beware its noxious secretions. Blight Wake. Okay, moves twice. When moving, leaves Blight. So that's this one. Yep, you take one damage from Blight, and here you take two damage. One from, from her and one from the Blight. Fair. Okay, Blight Host. After death, spawns a Blight Sack on empty diagonally adjacent squares. Okay, diagonally, which means we want to hit it from... like this. I assume, right? Horizontal, yeah. Or vertical. Okay. How do we know how much dam how much health they have, I wonder? Because right now we could move up two and attack it. Let's just try that. That means we're gonna take one. Okay, apparently not. Why not though? Because it's a pawn, maybe we can attack with pawns. Fair enough. Luckily we have uh, we have the bishop, so we can actually get out. Okay. So here we'll take one damage. I wonder if we will take damage by moving there or by ending our turn. I 
I would like I would like to save this one, so let's not use it quite yet. Let's move over here. Actually, that was... Hmm. I don't think this one can be upgraded, so let's actually just end our turn here. Good. Uh, let us... We can move over. That'll shield us. Oh, okay. That's what happens. Then we can move our kill this one. We'll take no damage here. Not yet, anyway. Um, okay. Okay, they do a lot of damage. We can... We can kill two of them. Or we can kill one and get away. Okay, Jesus. Well, that leaves us very little choice but to move over here. Take one damage and then just try and get out of here. Okay. Well, we can kill both, so why don't we go ahead and try that? Because this seems like something that's gonna just drag on and become worse and worse. Let's hope that, that it ends as soon as we... Yes, okay. We don't take the damage from that. That's good. Ooh, okay. Okay. Now we venture into the Goblin Caves. A fetid lair hidden deep in the rock ridge. And the rook ridge, excuse me. Home to ghastly goblins and other assorted cruel creatures, slowly being corrupted by the blight. So the blight is floor one of seven, okay. The blight is definitely a recurring theme here. Okay, you seem like a nasty thing. Blighted capybara. Okay. Ah, you're a pawn. That's why we can't use you. Okay. It ah, it's another deck. Okay, okay. I was about to say we we didn't upgrade a pawn, did we? But uh, no, we did not indeed. Um, can we? We could actually maybe move up here. Then move up and attack. I think they can attack diagonally, right? Yeah, so we could move up. That gives us an, us an extra. Uh-huh. Then we can move up, get a queen. Very nice. Okay, Brawler. Immune while the hero is on any of the cardinally adjacent squares. Okay, I'm assuming cardinally means either horizontal or vertical. That's fine. We could kill both, right? No. Okay. Well, luckily, we can get out of the way here. Ah, uh, no, we cannot because we are still uh, cuddling here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, my bad. Let's... But you, you do an, a, a diagonal splash. We could do this. Yeah, nice. Easy. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm starting to see it. It's, a, it's an interesting game so far. Okay, what do we want here, though? I think max health for sure is nice. We have less gold than last time, so we actually do have to sort of think a bit. Uh, we could get the cantrip, which I feel like is, is, is a major upgrade, or we could get two others. You already have one upgrade. It does make you very powerful, though, I feel. Uh, I think... I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, health. It's probably something maybe we'll want every turn, or maybe as we get better we'll realize that it's absolute waste. We're gonna go ahead and get that, a diagonal slash. 
on our on our night here and then we'll call that a good day and continue on to floor two. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. There's two pawns that we can't really use for anything. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm actually lying. Oh my god, what is going on here? So we can, we can actually kill two. Like that. Oh, did you get pushed? Ah, I should have read Goblin Archer. Dodges the first attack each turn if able. Moves in the direction of the attack. Ah, right, and you cannot move diagonally unless you attack. Interesting. Then we're going to use this because that's going to shield us from damage. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. Okay, so you dodges the first attack each turn. Okay, so that means... That means we are not... We, we don't want to be attacking anything unless we can kill it. Which I think we can. If we move the queen up here, we should get another one turned into a queen. This di does a di diagonal splash. It's going to hit this one. Hopefully, that means... Yeah. Nice. Let's move up and promote. Might as well. Okay. Can we kill? Yes. Nice. Not too shabby. 13 gold. Okay, so the, the heart gets more expensive. Then I'm thinking we want two upgrades. And it might just be some basic damage like this. I'm not against that, although the, the extra cantrips are extremely nice to, to be able to play three cards. But that means we're getting nothing else. I think for now we're going to go extra damage. I think we're doing okay on, on energy-wise, so far at least. It is still the beginning, so... Okay, what do we have? We have a skirmisher there, nimble. We have an archer. Champion. Immune while any other enemies are alive. Okay, interesting. Then we have a Spider Toad. It's a Web Weaver. After death, the hero draws only two cards next turn. Oof. And a Skirmisher that is nimble. Okay. We can kill one and get a shield. Who's attacking here? Tons of people are attacking there. We could move up and then use the pawn, kill that. But I think, let's see if that moves you. We'll be shielded, so we'll take one damage. That's okay. I know we're killing this one, and we are not. We're only gonna draw two cards next turn. We'll we'll just have to see how that goes. Let's move up. What does this mean? Ah, oh, okay. It's just a discard pile. Let's see if that pushes you. It does not. Okay, because you are immune, it doesn't push. Fair. Good to know. So... We could kill one. We could kill this one if we want to, the Goblin Skirmisher. That means we are taking a damage, though. What does this? Heals a damaged heart. Okay, we do heal one every round, so we can afford it. I'm thinking we will do that. I'm thinking we will do that. Allow... We'll, oh, actually, no mind. We drew, drew a card? Why did we draw, draw a card now? Okay. We should be able to kill. 
because we can move this down here and it does diagonal slash. Yes, very nice. And because we got extra energy, we can even we can even kill the champion. Excellent. That wasn't that was actually a happy accident there. Okay, okay. So unfortunately, no um, no mana this time around. Oh, not mana. Uh, cantrip. We could buy one of these upgrades and then save for next time to get a cantrip on something. Which I think sounds pretty nice. There's something to be said about having an awesome pawn like this, right? It, uh... But I think I, I like having a defensive and also offensive pawn like that. So let's, I mean, we could grab both. You know what, let's grab both. Let's grab both. Let's, let's have ourselves an awesome pawn. A couple of awesome pawns, actually. Okay, we are already getting... Uh... Okay, okay. It's already getting heavy. What do we have? We have a blighter. They are all nimble. And that's, that's really, really problematic. Blight Blast. After death, blights all adjacent squares. Okay, we have two of those. They are all nimble. We have a Snake Pucker. Vigilant. Immune while the hero is not on any of the adjacent squares. Okay, I assume though that if we jumped over here with something like this, it, we would damage it because we would be adjacent, but I'm not sure actually. Okay, you can only attack diagonally. Okay. Dutch is the first attack each turn. Yeah, so the problem is, even if we clear this guy's dutch and don't kill him, he'll still be back. Uh, he'll still get his dutch back. Can we kill anything here? Let's... I think maybe we can, but I'm not sure. It depends on sort of where he goes. But we can maybe kill that, kill that at least. Let's try and see what happens here. What on earth happened there? Why did it die? Why... Whew, okay. I suppose might as well kill this. Ah, it was Blight that uh, hit us. That's fine, that's fine. I think let's do something like this. That was not a particularly great... Ooh, we did... Ah, right, because we stand there. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's not just moving there, it's also standing there. What is this? This is a pawn. Okay, we can move down. And then we can move up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, we should be able to kill here, right? Move and kill. Not too bad. That wasn't. I'm not sure what happened then in in the first uh, the first turn, but we managed to survive. We do not have enough to get the cantrip and any other upgrade, but I'm thinking we'll want the cantrip here. Let's do that. Let's start to get some some extra cantrip because they are extremely useful, and especially as we start getting so many. So many monsters. Who attacks there? You do. Okay. I would have loved and uh, this is settings, right? Yeah. I would have loved an undo button, but as I would, I would like to see what happens if I jump up here because that's some, that that was one of the weird things that uh, that happened last time. Let's try it. Okay, you died. Okay, fair. That does mean that 
Actually, it doesn't mean we take a damage because now we can kill this. Okay, we do. We have an archer. Fair. What's, what's hitting there? Okay, what's hitting here? You will hit there. So, okay, I'm thinking we could move down here and attack with the pawn. But we will take damage with that. But I'm not necessarily seeing another option here. This way, at least we still kill something. Okay. I'm not sure we can kill any of these in this turn. We can kill this one, though, and still get away. Can we, though? Yeah, with this one we can. Let's do that. You guys hit a lot. And let's get out of the way here. Two pawns, really? Okay. Well, up we go. And up we go, I suppose. Still tons of energy. Actually, can we kill this one? I think we can, yes. Okay, let's get out of the way again. That was probably a mistake. I did have the... Uh... Oh, this is bad. Actually, maybe not. Maybe if we move in here and then move, just push you away. Yeah, this that 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 is the that was the one spot we were we were safe. Not sure we can kill you. We can. Excellent. Okay, it's uh, it's starting to get serious with the uh, with the thinking here. Actually, well, we could make you a monster of a pawn. You know what? I think we are mi we are definitely missing some some defensive ability here. So I think we definitely want some something like that. Uh, you already have defensive ability, so let's not grab something offensive here. Let's grab something like you. And honestly, let's grab something like you. Yes. Ooh, we can grab one more. Why not? Yeah, more defensive. Could have grabbed the health as well, but I think we are honestly okay on health. I mean, I say that now, but look at this. Okay, Goblin Warrior, you are a brawler. You are immune while the hero is standing exactly where I am. Okay. On the cardinal, cardinal adjacent tiles, we have a another spider toad. Otherwise, I think we just have goblins. Yes, warrior, and we have two of the blight bearers. So these are probably ones that we very much want to kill last. Of course, I say that, and immediately I'm thinking about killing something. Okay, you're gone. Not sure why it dies, to be honest. Uh, I wonder if... Let's find out if shield actually blocks blight. Don't... I think it did. Strange, but okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, you are a pawn. You can't move at the moment. 
Goblin Archer. You are dead. Excellent. Ooh, hello. The Queen. Let's not use the Queen at the moment, because we can't actually kill anything, I think. I'm not sure if we pushed anything. This one is going to do also. Maybe it's when we land on them that, that, that it kills them. It doesn't... Uh... It does say Dutch is the first attack each turn if able. But maybe if we land on it, we'll be just fine. But we take two damage there. One from Blight. Which floor is this? Floor six out of seven. So we don't want to take too, too much damage. Otherwise, I would have been tempted to jump here with the, with the Queen. But I think we're just going to use the Rook here to jump out of harm's way. Okay. So you will dodge, but you can't. So do you die? Okay, you don't die. And... That was not particularly smart. Okay. Then maybe... I do get another cantrip, so I think I'm okay moving down here. don't think it's going to do anything, but... Yeah, let's just move away. Let's just move away. So this is not going like super well, but we can kill the uh, the frog. You can kill the frog by this actually. Uh huh. And then we can still jump away. I would have loved to jump somewhere with just the one damage because I'm not sure the blight blocks. Yeah, okay. I'm about to say that I don't want to jump here because it's going to push him away, but it's not. And then we would get hit. Let's... Okay, you're dead. I did not take damage, so the, the blight... Okay, the block does... Uh, Block the blight. That's uh, that's very nice. E okay. Yeah, you took damage. Then, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, excellent. Okay, but we cannot really do anything to you at the moment. So let's just end the turn as it is. Okay. Something tells me he's going to be really, really uh, difficult to, to, to get. I think I want to be something like down here, so we can use the pawns. Or something like this. Yes. Ooh, okay. Okay. The defensive definitely helped. Uh, I honestly think we want more defensive. Yes, I think we want more defensive. And we can grab one of these as well. It's the last floor, so... Actually, we cannot. I don't know what, uh, why I thought we can. Let's just grab the defensive and uh, see what kind of trouble we get into here, oh my lord. Yeah, so you definitely want defensive. Okay. You're gonna blight all adjacent squares. That's, uh... Is something blighting? Yeah, you are blighted capybara. Okay. Another Capybara Goblin Blight Vessel. 
Okay, so that's the boss. Spawns a blight sack on an adjacent on an empty adjacent square whenever any non blight sack enemy dies. Okay. That's these. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hey, this is uh, gonna be something. So we can move up. It's gonna be blight all over the place, isn't there? We can't even use these. Not even to move, so that was clearly a mistake. Okay, stuck. Impossible, impossible to play any card. Okay, fair. That's gonna cause us a damage. Okay. You know, I like this. That's gonna kill this one, and it's gonna damage this one. Mm -hmm. And I like this. Maybe we actually just move over here. We could upgrade if we went moved up here, but then we take actually we don't take any damage because we have shields. So why don't we do do that? Okay. We are definitely in a very peculiar situation here. We can get away. That's at least the good news. What is hitting there? You are. You're the champion, though. It's a king. Which means if we jump down here, you'll get pushed away. But we can't kill you. But it's something off the board. And it gives us shield, which means we can jump somewhere and be safe. Could kill the toad as well, but that's... Three from Blight, Jesus. That's a lot of damage from Blight. Let's... Yeah, no rewards because it's the last floor, so it doesn't matter how long we spend. Well, maybe it does, comp considering other factors. But right now, it doesn't matter. The, the, the capybaras need to die because they are nasty. They're spreading their blight all over the place. Yeah, so we can go... Oh, hey. This is probably gonna to be a bit messy. Do that. Okay. And then we need to get, uh, get out of dodge. Only draw two cards next turn. Yeah, okay. We have one left. And we have this as an option. So that's, of course, what we're gonna do. Three damage, one from Blight. Who's hitting that? You are, though, and you are. And we have plenty of... So we could... Let's move up and kill. Yeah. Okay. We could move down, kill this one. You really need to kill the bear. We could kill this one. He's gonna spawn something, but we can move down here and uh, and be safe. Yeah. I don't think because of your diagonal attack, we can't hit anything with it. So, in all honesty, we could also just no, we could not stay. But we, let's move down here where we are safe. Mm -hmm. so please get something. I can kill the uh, the the bear. We did get something. Nice. Get the king as well. We have two turns left. 
So we have... We have one shield at the moment. We can kill this. And why don't we go ahead and move down here? We could also just chance it and take one, take two, or take one damage here, but I don't think I want to. Let's move down here. And let's end the turn there. Mm hmm okay. Do that. That means you're alone now. It's just you. You you can now be damaged. Not by anything we have. You are nimble, unfortunately. Otherwise, no, let's actually just jump back. We have the we have the shield. Not gonna take any damage. See, maybe this is gonna be the turn. Uh it doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it, but what we can do is... We can move up and over so we actually don't take any damage. Now we're pretty close to him. That should be it. A hit and a hit. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay, what is all this? Gauntlet pillar covered with... Protective sigil. Okay. Conquered. Pawn bearing the Goblin Caves chain zero. Don't know what that means. Spent 34 turns. Killed 41 monstrosities. Took 5 damage to shield from 14. Unlocked all characters. Unlocked all characters. What on earth does that mean? The rest on your laurels. Gauntlet Gate. Deeper parts of the dungeon are sealed off with ancient magic. Nothing but death awaits you there. But maybe you're into that kind of thing. What is this? Is it to open the door? Ah, that's if we want to go further down. Okay, that's uh Okay, that's that's something I don't think we are, we are, well, I know we're not going to take a look at that here because let's uh, leave something for the uh for the imagination and if you want to play it yourself, you'll have something further to explore. I think it was a great game. I had a lot of fun. I like puzzle games and I like the um not necessarily a fan of chess. I've never really played it. Uh but I like the elements of, of it. I uh, I definitely think it, it it had a lot of potential. I think you really, I really, really had to think a lot, especially towards the end. Uh, the the upgrades became more important than I thought, especially the shield towards the end. Cantrips and shields were very very important. I found that the the diagonal and the cardinal slash were definitely nice, but I still think it doesn't take priority over over the shields. At least not not so far what I found, but. Again, very limited play play experience so far. So maybe uh, if I play a bit more or further down the line, I'll find out that defense is complete garbage. Just go all out offense. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If this is something that uh, you'd like to pick up yourself. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and to see you for the next week. Until then, take care.